So today I've got a few steps for you to start implementing your legs on your forehand. And it wasn't until I figured out these very important secrets that I started hitting the ball way faster because our lower body makes up half of our body. So we may as well, you know, put it behind the shot and use it. And your legs are significantly stronger than your arms. So in step number one, what we want to do is first undo a really, really bad habit that is stopping you from using your legs. And it starts with getting rid of using the arms and starting the swing with the arms. Instead, we're gonna start the swing with our lower body. So in step number one, we need to establish a good ready position and we wanna get low like this. Feel like we're sitting in a chair and our elbows are up and away from our body. We should be able to shoot a basketball in this space and your feet should be about a racket's length width apart. So once you got that down pat, you're ready for step number two and that's gonna be our unit turn. A lot of people, they don't start moving the feet at the beginning of the swing, so it's no wonder that they don't even use them after either. So what you wanna do is get in the habit of pivoting like this, and essentially you're gonna be making a unit turn. Instead of just taking the arms back by themselves, we're gonna get up on our toes and twist until we're sideways in a good shoulder turn and ready position for the next step. So after we've established our unit turn, you're gonna take a step out with your front foot, assuming that we're hitting in a closed neutral stance, okay? And I'll also cover what to do for open stance after this. So we pivot and what you wanna do is step out sideways on a skateboard and sit in a chair and now from here i'm still not swinging with the arm i've let the racket free fall down into a closed position which i call pat the dog and now my legs are loaded and i'm ready for the swing and now what you're going to do is before swinging the arm you're going to have very very loose tension in your upper body and you're going to twist your toes to your target before contacting the ball. And you wanna make sure that you don't over rotate into this, okay? So I want you to feel like you stop your toes at your target. And what you'll notice is that automatically by focusing on twisting your toes, the rest of your body will have to follow because it's impossible, okay? Unless you go like that, you're just holding yourself back. You should feel like everything, your toes, your lower leg, your knees, your hips, your torso, your chest, your shoulders follows along, okay? We've got an imaginary laser beam kind of going through the center of our body and it starts with the toes. And now all you have to do in the next step is as you do this motion, start to lift with the legs, okay? We want to be really explosive, so make sure that you stay up on your toes the entire time while you're doing this. And what we want to do is have it so that we've released all the energy from our legs as we're twisting into the shot before we contact the ball. Because there's no point in releasing it after because the ball's already left the racket. So what we're doing is we're loading and we're making sure that we're opening up all the way to our target and we've essentially exploded up onto our toes, tall like a statue, and released all our energy before we contact the ball because this is the only way to get your legs behind the shot and drive about twice as much power behind your forehand, okay? And from here, you just finish the swing. But this should help you get a lot more power on your forehand. And if you start using your legs, you'll start seeing much more power and consistency on the court. Now. Learning how to use your legs on the forehand is the first step in building a game that's really successful. Next, you wanna go and learn modern tennis. I have a complete guide. It's called Modern Tennis Step-by-Step. Step. And if you like what you learned here, you're gonna to wanna to go into that program next because it takes what you learn and it builds on it. And it shows you how to go out onto the court with power and consistency forever. So once you've practiced this, you're gonna to wanna to go and study modern tennis and you can get started today with the link down below. In any event, 
Thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game.